Welcome to Fresh Fishing and bonjour. You join uh, me in France and uh, we've got a slightly different setup. Um, as, you, as you are aware, as you'll have seen on, uh, on the videos, um, we've, we've traveled out to France and we're at a venue called Molyneux, um, which is about um, two and three quarter hours from Calais. Um, we arrived at about 10.30, quarter to 11 this, this uh, morning. Uh, and by the time we had uh, walked around the lake, selected our swims, we then knew that there was a, uh, a, a patch of rain due, so uh, we went hard at it and uh, got our bivvies up and sorted our swims out, followed by a trip to uh, the supermarket to get some food for, uh, for today and tomorrow. And by the time all that was over, we got back at about uh, 2.30, quarter to three, and the heavens opened and uh, it was quite some storm actually bits of tree blown down over the track behind us and all sorts of things and that kept 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 going until about uh, half past four and uh, I've just got my rods in uh, in now and it's uh, it's five o'clock I got my last rod in about 15 minutes ago so I've got three rods in um, five o'clock and uh, that's my uh, that's my intro basically, and uh, the the reason that that I'm filming slightly separately is because I'm round the other side of the lake from the lads there, probably a good um, quarter of the lake away from me, and then the other guys, um, there's, there's some of the guys in the next swim up, and uh, and then the the final uh, guy Elliot is uh, is sort of diagonally across from me left. Uh, over by the cabin so uh, we're spaced out around the lake and uh, this makes it the easiest way to uh, to capture anything that that I might do over here so I'll, I'll concentrate on just filming the fishing um, from from this uh, and uh, some other bits and pieces and that's how we're going to uh, that's how we're going to attack it uh, this particular trip so there we go that's me at Molyneux and uh, set up and ready to go and we've now got um, seven days of it so hoping uh, we're going to get some fish on the bank right yeah this this is home for uh, the next seven days not a bad little swim i've got uh, i've got bivy set up there all squared away and uh, day shelter there with uh, various bits and pieces in there and I can use that uh, if it's uh, if the weather's not too good to sit in there and make a brew or, or whatever uh, although there is a, uh, a a bit of a kitchen facility a little bit further down the lake but I'd have to clearly take my rods in to do that um, but uh, dependent uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes and uh, there's the swim I've got quite a bit of uh, bit of water. I've got uh, um, sort of left of my swim s to the inlet area on the island. Um, that, that's the sort of left-hand edge of the swim. And then I've got all this open water round to the right here. Um, and it goes down a fair way. Uh, and round, should I say, sorry into quite a shallow bay over here. I've got nothing over there yet. Um, I'll, uh, I'll describe where my rods are uh, shortly. Had a couple of knocks on uh, two of the rods, so um, hopefully they will, uh, will bear some fruit. Uh, so yeah, that's the, 
that's the setup. That's how we're looking, not too bad. Now that the storm's over, um, it was quite a storm actually. Um, battened down the hatches for a good hour. Uh, but it seems to have cleared the decks a bit for us, which is good news. Right, it's uh, quarter past eight and uh, it's absolutely boiling. I've just had a, uh, a cool shower. Well, as cool as uh, the, the system would allow it uh, over there. Um, but uh, what I'm now gonna do is, uh, is reset the rods for the evening. I think I'll just leave them there then. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll, uh, they'll get their heads down and we'll, uh, we'll get something overnight. So um, here's hoping that uh, I'm rudely awakened, awoken, and uh, I'll then show you uh, what uh, what we've got. Morning campers. Well, uh, no fish during the night, unfortunately. Um, but I'm not too bothered about that because we had, uh, or I had no sleep the night before on the journey. And uh, by the time I sort of got into bed at, uh, at about 9.30, quarter to 10 last night, I'd been up for sort of 36 hours without any sleep so uh, um, it's now it's now just after 10 o'clock um, and uh, I've managed to get a few hours kipping. I did get woken up by the alarms a few times last night but I suspect that was crayfish. Um, it's, it's, it's raining uh, a bit at the moment um, so I'm, I'm going to get my waterproofs on in a moment and venture out and, and sort the rods out after I've had a bit of breakfast but uh, uh, when I um, when I reel them in, I suspect I'll find that uh, the crayfish have been tampering with the bait because I had uh, two, certainly three um, sets of alarms from all the rods and uh, um, of course it could have been fish picking up and ejecting uh, or line bites, but uh, we, we are getting a lot of problems with crayfish. Um, I know that uh, the guy Wally that runs the lake told us that uh, last week they had a problem with them. It's not usually a problem. But uh, um, yeah, you've got it when we get here, it becomes a problem. And uh, so there we go, no fish yet, um, but uh, a lot of time on the bank to, to, uh, to put that right. Um, so I'll get, I'll, get, uh, I'll get myself squared away, sort the rods out, and we'll see how we go from there. go through my spots where uh, I've had my rods initially overnight and uh, I've, uh, I've set them today. If you look straight across the top of my rods you've got the right hand end of the island and uh, there's an overhanging tree at the right end of the island and uh, I'm about um, a rod length, rod length and a half off the, uh, the right hand edge of that overhanging tree. That is uh, one of the spots that uh, that Wally uh, from, from the lake um, told us about yesterday. And then I've also got a rod. If you look to the right hand side of the lake, um, there is a pretty large overhanging willow. I've got a rod about, a rod length off that again, that's another spot. And then I've chosen, if you look at that willow, and then you've got another one. You've got one, two, three, four, four willows overhanging. The fourth willow, I've got a rod in estimation about, again, a rod length off that. Um, as far as rigs on those rods, on the island rod, if you like, I've got a um, mega method feeder with a wafter on the centre rod, the fourth willow, I've got a just a lead clip with a blowback uh, rig on there. I have a, a switch boily, DNA switch boily with half a um, half a pop up on there just to um, just to pop it up off the bottom slightly. 
and then on the right hand low on that rig i have a helicopter rig and uh sort of spinner rig and on that i have a uh, a pop-up with um with a shot on there just to uh, again pull it down slightly so yeah that's that's the three rigs um i, I keep getting knocks liners on uh, on the left hand rod the island rod i've had a few on that uh, to date but uh nothing has picked it up yet and i've just had a uh, a special delivery by boat to my peg um from uh, from max a uh, corona extra so um i think it's time to uh, to open my first beer and uh, cheers max that was uh, a, a great d delivery okay yeah uh, all quiet so far had the rods in for probably about 20 hours now and uh, had several um several knocks and bumps over the overnight uh, and a couple this morning um, line bites or whatever um, thought it might be crayfish at first but when I um, when I took the rods in and inspected the bait um, they, they seemed fine so uh, I think there's fish in the area I just need to uh, to get them more interested in uh, in my uh, my in, in my spot and my uh, my bait as it were hello mark hello mate hello. i'm just uh, recording oh, wayne's hello. here i'm gonna say hello hey i'm just going for a shower i'm uh, going going for a shower what yeah. your first one yeah oh <laughs> i had to go last night after uh, a monster day wasn't it warm wise yeah yeah it was yeah. horrible i just um i was just so tired i couldn't be asked to last night foxy still hasn't yet but it's his take so <laughs> he wants to do that i'll leave you to it yeah all right mate have a good one. Good. Yeah, so that's it where we stand. Um, I'm going to bring the rods in in a moment and, and reset them. Um, I'm going to move left hand rod slightly, but um, we'll, um, we'll see how we do. <laughs> just after uh, eight o'clock about ten past eight and uh, we've had an extremely quiet day um, it's been it's been hot it's been rainy at times um, but it's generally been a bit cooler than uh, than yesterday and certainly um, this evening is uh, is forecast to be cooler down to about 13 so um, hopefully We'll get them on the feed tonight. Nobody's had anything all day apart from uh, uh, Wayne this morning with the um, the small ten pound ish common that he caught and uh, and the small catfish. Nobody's had anything um, at all all day. It's been, as I say, extremely quiet. The chap that runs it, um, Wally, he did say that the last two weeks have been extremely slow. Um, so um, and and that's due to. Uh, the drop in the water level and also how uh, how hot it's been over the last three or four weeks so hopefully it's not an unlucky time to uh, to come to france and uh, try this particular venue but anyway um as i say hopefully they'll get their heads down and uh, and start moving around this end of the lake um, for us tonight i've um, i've reset one rod put it back um in the spot that i had it previously because i saw a large uh, show there maybe an hour ago um, so I've put it back in that spot and that's that's the uh, the island the tree on the right hand edge of the island that's particular spot that uh, I pointed out yesterday 
Um, there seems to have been a, uh, a little bit of movement there, so hopefully that will uh, will bear fruit later. Probably that's it from me for, for this evening. I might, uh, um, I probably won't go to bed till 10 or, or later, and uh, I might uh, I might come back on and just talk to you a bit and uh, do a bit more filming. We'll see how we feel. Well, here we go, uh, Monday morning, quick update. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's a blank so far. Um, it's been uh, really slow, really hard work. Um, between the six of us, there's been one, uh, the one fish, the, 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 the approximately 10 pound common and uh, a small catfish out. Um, so it looks like um, the old weather and uh, depth of water problems are still, uh, are still causing uh, the issues of it not, not fishing too well. Um, our fishing app does actually um, give us some hope because it does brighten up from Wednesday onwards. So uh, we keep trying, see if we can get a bonus fish um, out until then, and uh, uh, and we'll keep uh, we'll keep soldiering on, as you say. It's uh, it's another lovely day. It's going to be uh, about 26, 27 today, uh, so quite uh, quite warm again, which doesn't help things. But then over the last two days, we've had storms, we've had rainy uh, spots, cloud, so the conditions were pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, and uh, nothing as we say. So yeah, we'll keep trying. And uh, fingers crossed, we'll get something on the bank. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's, uh, it's nine o'clock at the moment. I've just reset my rods at about 8.30 uh, for, uh, for the night and uh, We've not had the rods in that much today, to be honest. Um, they were in till about one o'clock-ish. Then um, we took the rods out because we went to the uh, supermarket and uh, we didn't get back from the supermarket till, oh, let me see, it was about two o'clock. And then we decided to uh, put the rods in for a couple of hours before we um, had a, um, a social, a bit of a social, a barbecue at uh, four o'clock. Um, and you'll have seen the, um, the bots um, on that particular barbecue. Yeah, we, we had a good session actually. Um, well worth it. Um, we're not catching any fish, so we thought we'd uh, we'll have a decent barbecue and a couple of beers and uh, that, that was well worth it. So what we're hoping now is that um, it's been a hot day again, that uh, not too many fish showing all around the place. So hopefully they're getting their heads down and we're gonna start to uh, to make our way, if you like, into them and, and start catching them uh, from tonight or at least tomorrow. But um, it's blooming hard work. Uh, that's all I can say. And uh, with the uh, the weather conditions and the crayfish, um, it's certainly there to try us. But um, we keep going. We keep trying, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some fish out by the uh, by the end of the week. Hopefully we'll get some out overnight. I will uh, be talking to you overnight, hopefully. Good night. Good morning all. Well, we've had another fishless night, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, it's Tuesday morning now, um, just after 10 o'clock. I've uh, I've been up, I've been up about an hour and a half. I um, pulled the rods in at about 8:30. Um, went for a shower, ablutions, etc. And uh, I've just got back to my swim now. So what I'm going to do in a moment is um, is reset the rods, uh, and then uh, and then get some breakfast uh, on the go. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunately it's blooming hard work. Um, we've been told because of the heat and the water levels that. Uh, the place wasn't fishing that well, but um, we were hoping to get uh, one or two fish out by now. I mean, yeah, we've, sorry, we've had each, that is. We've, we've had, um, um, the, the lads have had one each, smaller, um, a 10 and a 12, but uh, but nothing to, uh, to start writing home about, as it were. So, yeah, it's uh, another one of those uh, frustrating... Uh, days yesterday and last night um, let's see what today brings hi everybody it's uh, quarter past five on uh, Tuesday and uh, been a very hard day been a warm day 27 28 degrees 
bit of breeze though and you would have thought that that might have uh, got the fish moving and feeding but it uh, doesn't seem to have been the case. Um, one of the lads, Jamie, had a 19 pound catfish um, either late morning or early afternoon and that's all that's, uh, that's happened today. So uh, it's, uh, it's been another hard day as I say. So what I'm going to do is in a moment I'm going to uh, going to get my dinner on, have a bit of dinner and then uh, reset the rods again before the evening uh, session and uh, fingers crossed can catch something tonight or before that even. But uh, yeah it's proving very hard. Um, not what we came for but uh, that's fishing for you. <laughs> Look at that on a pop up as well that had been on a uh, snowman. Bloody hell. <laughs> well, at least it's something. The first one. Well done, mate. Here we go. <laughs> first one, Mark. You never, you never guess what I was just doing piece saying we've had nothing all day and I'm gonna just have dinner and I'm gonna uh, reset the rods shortly after dinner and all of a sudden the alarms went. <laughs> Always the way mate innit? Always the way. Yeah. Well at least it's a fish. Many more to come hopefully. Yeah well done mate. Right here we go. Dinner which is steak, potatoes, asparagus and peas and carrots. Good old French beefsteak, see what that's like. And we've also got a bit of sauce, pepper sauce to go with the, uh, the steak. Right, good evening all. It's now 8.30, dinner's all sorted, had that. I've um, reset the rods, the traps are reset for tonight. Hopefully we can uh, better that uh, small tench that, uh, that landed this afternoon. Um, the fish activity is supposed to get better from tonight according to that app, so um, let's see how, uh, how accurate that is. And uh, we, we could certainly do with it. It's been uh, it's been deadly so far. It really has. And uh, we need a few fish now to uh, to set us on the on the straight and narrow, as it were. So yeah, um, hopefully I'll be um, saying something to you before tomorrow morning. Um, I can only wish that. <laughs> Well, 3.30 and uh, I've got a bit of a lump in the net. Um, I'll get things set up and uh, we'll get it out and weigh it. Right, well, waited for a couple of days for this, but it's a PB straight away at 34.02, although we've got to zero the, uh, the scales and verify that, but uh, it looks around 33, the 33, 34 mark nice mirror on my right hand rod which was right down the margins um, under the old willow tree down there on a snowman rig right look at that picture so what were you saying it was mine 30 30 zero 06 so not quite as big and once we'd uh, zeroed things properly 30 zero 06 Let me cover for a moment. So what rig was you using mate? I had it on a uh a boily. Uh it was just a a lead clip with a blowback rig 
and it was a boilie with half a white pop-up just uh, just popping it up slightly it was a, sw a switch boilie um, yeah DNA switch good stuff it's crazy how we have gone four three four nights without nothing yeah you've had one Kitch has lost a 30 pounder he reckons it wasn't a screaming run as well it was a, just a beep and then another beep mm. and then another beep and i thought hmm, maybe i should get up and i got up and then it beeped once more and then i thought oh, i'll have a quick pee <laughs> a quick pee and then it beeped again i thought better pick that up and uh yeah furthest one i mean it's a good 1800 yards away Oh, and it was with a back lid on. It's the first time I've ever caught a fish with a back lid on. Well done, mate. It's about five to eight. I've just been woken up again. Um, this time it ripped off, and it's a uh, a small catfish, little cat. Probably, I don't know, seven or eight pounds, something like that. Um, we got absolutely screamed off. And uh, we don't have stink as well. Okay, we're getting back in. Morning, everyone. Uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, it's about uh, 10.30 now. And uh, as you will have seen from, uh, from the vlog, um, a much better report this morning of things happening overnight. Uh, yeah, I was awoken at, uh, at 3.30 and that was the, uh, the mirror, which was actually 30.5 pounds. And then the little little catfish this morning at, uh, at about 10 to eight, uh, which woke me up finally um, from my slumbers. And uh, that was probably, I don't know, seven, eight pounds, um, but, uh, it didn't half rip about. Um, the the run was uh, um, very loud at first. So yeah, um, much better, much better night, and uh, the conditions look a lot better for today. So uh, hopefully we can catch something during the day today, and uh, let's see how we go. Right, uh, it's about twenty to seven, and it's uh, dinner time. Dinner is on. I'm having a. Uh, a lamb steak with potatoes, asparagus, and peas and carrots. Well, there we go, it's ready to eat. Not too bad, looks good. I'll get set about it. Right, that was dinner. Um, nice piece of uh, lamb steak with potatoes, peas and carrots, and asparagus, and uh, I finished off with a, um, a great big peach or nectarine, um, the like of which I've not seen since um, since I used to be stationed in Germany. You just can't get them that big in the UK. Good old Brexit, eh? Anyway, um, yeah, so that was dinner. I'm all washed up and, uh, and sorted now, ready for um, the evening session. What I'm gonna do is, um, is probably wait for another hour and then I'm going to uh, reset the rods for for tonight, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get something something more tonight. Um, it's been a, a clearly a much better day. Um, we had uh, uh, I had the fish overnight uh, and this morning, and uh, the lads have had two or three, four, um, including a forty pounder today. So um, yeah, we've had a thirty and a forty, and um, also a. Uh, a decent size I think a 30 yeah a 30 grass carp so um, the fish fish are starting to play which is good news and hopefully we can uh, we can get some more out um, in, in the last couple of days so there we go evening session calling and uh, I'll give it about an hour and then I'm gonna reset the rods and get ready for the evening just after 8 30 and uh, resetting the rods and uh, I've caught a little carp, a little, 
there we are the smallest the smallest little crucian while I was setting the rods up just doing the other two rods constantly tapping great stuff eh I'll put it back in right that's the rods reset um, I was interrupted in the middle by that little crucian I had to reset my right hand rod again and uh, that's all rods back in uh, in the spots that uh, that look favourable. Certainly one of them that I caught the uh, um, the, th the 30 pound mirror from, and the other two, um, one of them, sorry, has, uh, has produced that little tench and uh, the crucian, and, and of course the other spot, um, which I'm not on at the moment, produced the catfish. Fish have started to come out again. Um, lads in the next swim, uh, Kitch just had a, a 37 pound, uh, mirror which is great so um he's hoping that we're gonna do something tonight so that's me i'm all set for the night um let's see if we can make it a, a decent night um like last night fingers crossed we'll see okay it's uh about 240 at, at the moment um i uh, i had a fish at uh at two o'clock um but because of the, of the because it's pitch black and the, and the lighting situation i'm unable to uh to video it um on uh on my own so um i just took a photo of it um in the cradle and uh it, it weighed 80 it was a common it weighed 18 pounds and uh zero six caught it on my uh on my center rod again which is the one which is way down um the right hand margins of the lake um in, in in a willow area and uh yeah i caught it on uh snowman rig again 18 pounds 06 and a common so yeah just after 240 um i'm gonna get my head down again now hopefully it'll be a bit lighter um when the bell goes off again and i can uh, i can video the next one yeah good day thursday um it's about quarter to 12 um i got up about 8 30 um pulled my rods in had a shower sorted myself out breakfast etc um i've not i've had nothing this morning um the only fish i had overnight was um uh, you'll see it on a photo it was a uh, 18 uh, 06 common um, which i had at about two o'clock in the morning and, and that was it overnight um and i think from from the others the, uh, jonathan had a a smally um common i think it was or a mirror and uh, they didn't weigh it um it was um a double ish sort of size so uh was quite slow last night weather's changed quite a bit so we're hoping that uh from today um uh, we'll get a you know a good uh last uh 48 hours as it were so we're off to the supermarket now to get some uh to get some supplies and i'll uh i'll check in with you later right it's uh 10 to 2 we're back from the supermarket um all supplies are uh in the fridge now until until we go on saturday so uh, we're all stocked up etc and uh i've just put the rods got the rods back in and uh, we got back about half past one taking me 15 minutes or so to reset the rods so the rods are back in uh in uh in similar spots to uh to what i showed you at the start i've not i've not uh veered too far from those spots in fact the only rod that's uh that's any different really is the rod that was on the right hand end of the island i moved that left into a gap uh, which is straight in front of uh, of the swim basically um, and that's um, a couple of feet off the island uh, and and there we go and what i'm trying to challenge myself today to catch a decent fish during the day um, all i've caught during the day so far are the uh, the small bits and pieces um, Although I suppose the catfish was at, yeah, it was 10 to 8 in the morning. So that was, yeah, during the day. Um, the, the, um, the two decent fish have been, uh, have been at uh, 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. So um, let's see if I can uh, get one during the day. That's my challenge today. I'll just resetting the rods and uh, another little crucian. I don't believe them. Two o'clock. 
It's in the morning again. Seems to be the sort of time that, uh, that my uh, alarm goes off, as it were, for the fish. And we've got this common, which is 27 pounds exactly. Cracking fish. Caught it on the uh, fake corn on my left hand rod over to the island, 27 pounds. So happy with that, um, as that's the first, uh, first fish I've caught on that particular rod in that spot. 27 pounds over to the island. Lovely common. And uh, I think I'll get her back now. Morning everybody, uh, nine o'clock. And uh, I'm in the bivvy because we, we just uh, just had a rain shower. Uh, had a couple overnight actually, but uh, um, just had one uh, that's, uh, that's just stopping now. So yeah, Friday morning, um, overnight, I had the uh, 27 pound common. So that's not bad going. Uh, I seem to uh, have caught at two o'clock or 3.30 um, each of, of the, uh, the last three nights. So hopefully I can keep that uh, that going tonight and uh, give me a fourth fish. I'd like to catch uh, a decent fish during the day, but that seems to uh, seems to be difficult round um, round my corner of the lake. Um, I haven't done so yet. Had that uh, little catfish um, at eight o'clock in the morning ish, and uh, had the uh, uh, <laughs> the little tench and the crucians during the day, but uh, the big fish don't seem to. Uh, uh, bigger fish don't seem to want to play so yeah that's my plan for the for, for the final day uh, try and uh, try and get a decent fish during the day and hopefully uh, get one tonight and uh, and then it's um, it, it's it's pack up time at about six in the morning so that we can be away for about 8 30 because the ferry is uh, um, we've got an earlier ferry now which is good um, saves us getting back at, uh, at some ungodly hour um, we'll get back at the sort of, uh, um, I don't know, 10-ish in the evening. So that, that'll be good. So there we go. four o'clock just a quick update for you yeah it's uh, Friday the last afternoon um, another very hot day 29 degrees and although it's been cloudy uh, this morning and uh, there's been a few spots of rain here and there the Sun's out now and uh, it's really warm it's gonna be 29 degrees by about five o'clock um, so uh, it's been it's been very hard going today I haven't caught anything um, there's been one fish out between all of us all day and uh, Jonathan's caught that at 19 and a half pounds so uh, it may well be another uh, another two or three o'clock one for me hopefully um, I'd like to catch one uh, in daylight hours could just make things easier but um, you, you, you take them as they come of course um, I won't refuse them at uh, two or three in the morning so yeah um, it's been a it's been a fantastic week um, I've really enjoyed it we, we've just been let down by uh, the fishing really um, it's been one of those weeks where uh, the lake has struggled uh, due to conditions crayfish and, and a few other factors of course and uh, we've really struggled to uh, to get anything out um, talking to the guy that runs the place Wally he said you know you should be you should be getting one fish a day at least um, and then of course size of fish that we've had out 
Um, we've only had 140 out. Um, we've had two 30s. But, um, you know, according to the write-ups, etc., every second fish should be at least a 30. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been particularly hard, um, but it's been a great week. Um, I, I've really enjoyed it. So fingers crossed we'll still, um, we'll still be uh, um, getting some more fish out before we knock it on the head tomorrow morning, early doors, um, before we, uh, we travel back to uh, Calais. That's what I'd like anyway. Uh, I'd like to get another one if, at least um, before we go and, and I'd like to get one uh, over 30 pounds if possible, but um, I can't have it always. Right, um, 9.30 on the final evening and uh, I've just reset the rods and uh, put double bait out in all the areas as it's the uh, as it's the last evening um, got rid of um, of what bait I had left uh, into the three spots that I've uh, been fishing all, all uh, week or most of the week and um, let's hope we uh, we have a normal two or three o'clock wake-up call tonight um, with a decent sized fish that would be nice to finish things off um, yeah that would be great and uh, it's an early start in the morning and then uh, rush off to uh, Calais um, get the ferry for about half past one I'll talk to you in the morning before um, before we set off and just close things um, but hopefully I'll be um, I'll be talking to you under lights later on tonight See you then. Well, there we go, all packed up. Saturday morning, 20 to eight. I'm just waiting for the boys to come around with a van so we can uh, put everything in. Right, Saturday morning, all packed up. End of the session. I can hear the boys coming now, so uh, I'll have to stop and summarize um, at some other stage to tell you how uh, the week has gone. But you're aware from the vlog that uh, we didn't catch um, too many fish. We had a few out. Um, it wasn't a, a great week on the fishing side, but certainly for a week away in France on, uh, on a holiday, uh, we had a great week, really enjoyed it. Um, it could have been a bit better on the fishing side and the owner of the lake, Wally, he admitted that uh, it was struggling and it was gonna be that way um, when, uh, when we started. Incidentally, that was another vehicle. It wasn't the lads coming, so, uh, um, I'm okay to, uh, to talk to you for a few more uh, minutes. So yeah, I only had um, the four fish that were really um, mentionable. The, um, the little catfish, about eight pounds, and then the mirror, which was 30.6, 30, um, 30 I think it was in the end. I might have said 30.4, but uh, as I remember, it was 30.6. Um, then I had um, two commons, one 27, and the other one was 18, 18 and a bit. So those four fish, I had some little uh, little stuff, tench and uh, a couple of uh, crucian, but uh, they were very small and uh, don't really count. So from a week's worth of fishing, that's, um, that's not great, but um, <clears throat> at least, at least it's something, at least, I got a 30, which um, which was my first fish on, uh, I think it was the Wednesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, that uh, that I got that one. That was my first fish. So I was pleased with that. And then uh, anything to follow from there uh, was a bonus really, with the conditions being so difficult. So yeah, that's uh, that, that's us really. Um, it, it's, uh, it's all packing up now, packing the vehicles and uh, getting away from here by about 8.30. Um, so that we we can get to Calais uh, in good time for about 12 12 30 ish and the ferry goes at uh, at half past one and then we've got a bit of a slog on the other side six hours six and a half hours back up north as it were um, so it's a long way to travel um, but uh, it's well worth it for a good week's uh, holiday and fishing just a pity as I say that the fishing wasn't better uh, this particular uh, time but that's that's the way it goes um, as we all know if you're not on the bank you're not going to catch any fish and uh, we've had a, uh, a as I say a great week here um, 
you'll see the rest of uh, I'm going to close now and you'll see the rest of, uh, of how we got back etc on the on the main vlog from from the boys this was purely a vlog of me uh, getting here setting up my uh, my week's fishing and uh, and packing up and then going back with the lads so it was it's part of the retirement sessions um, in France if you like so yeah th thanks for watching and uh, all that remains to say is uh, goodbye. I'll see you uh, back in the UK on the retirement sessions um, in the very near future. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.